Hi, I'm Naomi, and welcome to day 34 of our 365-day Bible reading plan. Today's reading is titled, Moses Isn't Sure. We'll be reading Exodus chapter 4, verses 1 through 17 in the New Living Translation. But Moses protested again, what if they won't believe me or listen to me? What if they say the Lord never appeared to you? Then the Lord asked him, what is that in your hand? A shepherd's staff, Moses replied. Throw it down on the ground, the Lord told him. So Moses threw down the staff and it turned into a snake. Moses jumped back. Then the Lord told him, reach out and grab its tail. So Moses reached out and grabbed it and it turned back into a shepherd's staff in his hand. Perform this sign, the Lord told him. Then they will believe that the Lord the God of their ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob really has appeared to you. Then the Lord said to Moses, now put your hand inside your cloak. So Moses put his hand inside his cloak, and when he took it out again, it was white as snow with a severe skin disease. Now put your hand back into your cloak, the Lord said. So Moses put his hand back in, and when he took it out again, It was as healthy as the rest of his body. The Lord said to Moses, if they do not believe you and are not convinced by the first miraculous sign, they will be convinced by the second sign. And if they don't believe you or listen to you, you, even after these two signs, then take some water from the Nile River and pour it out on the dry ground. When you do, the water from the Nile will turn to blood on the ground. But Moses pleaded with the Lord, Oh, Lord, I am not very good with words. I never have been, and I'm not now. Even though you have spoken to me, I get tongue-tied and my words get tangled. Then the Lord asked Moses, who makes a person's mouth? Who decides whether people speak or do not speak, hear or do not hear, see or do not see? Is it not I, the Lord? Now go. I will be with you as you speak, and I will instruct you in what to say. But Moses again pleaded, Lord, please send anyone else. Then the Lord became angry with Moses. All right, he said, what about your brother Aaron the Levite? I know he speaks well. And look, he is on his way to meet you now. He will be delighted to see you. Talk to him and put the words in his mouth. I will be with both of you as you speak, and I will instruct you both in what to do. Aaron will be your spokesman to the people. He will be your mouthpiece and you will stand in the place of God for him, telling him what to say. And take your shepherd's staff with you and use it to perform the miraculous signs I have shown you. Thanks for joining us for today's reading. And remember, everyone has an invitation to sit at Jesus's table. We hope you'll find your story and purpose in God's story.